Hey guys, 2020 is tough. A lot of car events were cancelled and cars had to be presented online, which was very unfortunate for some of the biggest players. But the Beijing Auto Show was not one of them. It might be the only event this year where automakers can show everyone what they've been working on. I could not not pay attention to it, so let's look at electric cars they did present in China, where the show started on the 26th of September. A Beijing Radiance concept by the Chinese company BAIC aims at Tesla Model S. It has a range of 560 km EPA, and Beijing also says that the vehicle will get level 4 autonomous driving, although they did not say whether the car is going into mass production. But look at this beautiful interior. The designers drew their inspiration from the Chinese furniture and architecture. Another electric concept from a local company was GACN Pulse from GAC Motor. It's a hardtop roadster, meaning another shot at Tesla, with an AR HUD technology which allows you to control the car in augmented reality, like in a game. The concept is covered in electroluminescent paint that conveys a sense of electricity. A Q2 motor SUV called ArcFox Alpha T has two battery options with a range of 335 and 455 km EPA, which is not bad for a car that costs $37,000. The SUV will be made for other markets as well, but under different names, all meaning an Arctic Fox. FAW Best Tune went all out and showed an SUV called Zero One, and it comes in five options. The price ranges from $29,000 to $33,500. It is a fine car, but not in the oh wow way, more in the eh way. The design is okay, the horsepower is okay, the range is also okay. Well, I guess not everyone has to be the best. What is definitely not boring and just okay is the Lincoln Co. booth where they show their Concept Zero. The company is known for its shows inside the shows, and this time is no exception. The concept will go into mass production in 2021, has a range of 490 km EPA and does 060 in 3.9 seconds. Zero's architecture might be the first one to be open-sourced, meaning other automakers will be able to use it. The electric version of the Canon pickup by Great Wall was announced last year, and we now get to see it in two versions commercial and passenger, that cost $37,000 and $41,000 respectively. The range is 405 km or 251 miles apparently, but it might be the quirky NADC cycle, which means we should expect to get around 285 km or 177 miles of EPA range. The LEV CLX looks just like London cabs used to. It's because the London taxi company was bought by the Chinese Geely, they made this cool car together with German detailers, but did not reveal the characteristics. Moreover, people just assume the car is an EV because the company announced it's going all-electric a few years ago. The biggest star among the foreign concept might just be the Polestar Precept. It was supposed to debut in Switzerland in March, but the show was cancelled, so they brought it to Beijing. The sedan will go into mass production and the company will build a whole new factory in China for it. It'll also use renewable sources of energy. The design of the car also features caring for the environment. A lot of the interior is made with recycled plastic. The seats, in fact, are made from what used to be plastic bottles. We do not know the specs, but the size is similar to Lucid Air and again, Tesla Model S. Among other non-Chinese companies was Hyundai with its hatchback RM20e. The sports cars they used to show were ICE cars, but the time has come for EVs now. RM20e tells us the story of the future. This car will be the one to test out all the prospective technologies for future models. The platform is a joint work together with Croatian Rimac Automobili, and they do know what speed is. The only motor has a whopping 810 horsepower, and the car goes from 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. The top speed is 250 km, still the hatchback is quiet and easy to handle and can fit quite nicely for everyday use, well, at a lower speed, of course. China also welcomed their Japanese neighbors. Honda showed an SUV e-concept without side mirrors and door handles. What? 
Anyway, handles or no handles, the concept is supposed to go into mass production, but we're not sure when exactly. The SUV got next-gen Honda Sensing safety systems with a 360-degree radar and advanced decision-making characteristics. But the one to rule them all is x Motors. They showed a prototype of a flying electric vehicle called Kiwi GoGo. -Go. It does look more like a drone for now, but it is probably not the final version. Kiwi GoGo -Go can fit two passengers and fly as high as 25 meters off the ground. x says they've conducted more than 10,000 safety tests. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Kiwi GoGo. -Go. And that's it for the Beijing Auto Show. Tell me which car did you like in the comments below. But I got dibs on the London Cab one. I'll see you soon.